All right, here's the reception desk upstairs. So hit the, all this right here underneath and then also the black all right here. Wrapped it all the way around. And then I stopped right about there. Oops, right about there. I didn't do the doors or anything. That's it right there. All right, so the first thing I do is I use rubbing alcohol and water or invisible glass cleaner. Invisible glass cleaner does really good. Actually, it does a little bit better than the rubbing alcohol and water. Uh, and then now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing the measurements. And usually, so that right there is like uh, 31 inches high. And uh, that was, I think it was like seven inches high. So I always add about an inch bleed top bottom. Uh, and uh, all, all the way around basically. Now when you're cutting on the floor, I don't usually cut with a regular knife. I use the bodyguard knife and it just, it's a guard, you can see it right there. And now what I do to make it easier, what I call tacking on strips, I do a one inch strip and I'm just cutting between the paper and the vinyl or the film. I like to pre-cut everything so I'm getting in that mode of cutting everything and making sure we have enough vinyl before we start wrapping the whole thing. And I know I do, it's just every once in a while when we're short on the vinyl I like to pre-cut and get everything all set up before I actually uh, start wrapping a subject or an area. Now, right before I install it, I always use the primer 94 around the edges and I got like a little cotton swab. You can actually go order. I'm going to send you links on the very bottom of the website or um, the YouTube channel. You just buy it off of Amazon. It's probably the easiest way to do it. And you note, I'm not hitting that gray area because I'm not going to be wrapping that area. I'm going to wrapping over it and then pre-cutting it and then cutting it out. But I like to do the primer 94. Now, I'm using that, what I call tacking on strip. You can kind of see it right in the middle of that unit. I'm going to like about one inch bleed over bottom, top, and about uh, left and right side. So I'm getting right in the middle. And with a tacking on strip, you can see where I'm kind of adjusting it. And that's, that's, I'm barely tacking it on. And then when I'm happy with it where it needs to be at, then I grab the backing. And then I start uh, whipping in the shape. So right now I'm just getting the artificial films uh, squeegee out. I just like the hardness of it. And I'm shoving that into the corners and everything. Now I'm trying to get rid of the little excess uh, vinyl. So I'm going to cut the bottom part so I'm not fighting it. Now I'm using the, the thickness of the squeegee and it's about one eighth inch thick right there and I'm cutting it uh, where that metal strip is at so it just overlaps just a little bit and then I'm going to shove it in a little bit more later on so it, it just barely gets onto the metal. Okay same kind of concept I'm cutting right down the middle with the tacking on strip I'm going to make sure there's no dust or what I call boogers or anything like that. So I'm through a quick little uh, t test for my hand to make sure nothing's uh, extruding out. Now I'm going to try to aim for the one inch uh, overlap right there. I'm going to tack it on. You can see I'm right in the middle there. I'm tacking it on. 
this is what I call this called a dry install. So I'm just kind of uh, making sure everything looks good or where it needs to be before I install it. And you can see I can readjust it and get it set up. So right now it's kind of wobbly on the bottom. So I'm going to pull that off and then I'm going to walk it down, let the vinyl just kind of relax to get level. And then you won't have any creases or bubbles or anything like that. Now it's time to, to pull the backing. So on these longer pieces, there it goes. <laughs> I like to uh, hold the vinyl up usually about a 45 degree angle or even a 30 degree angle. Just make sure it's not touching the surface. And then you snap it in. Uh, the, Architectural films, it's kind of on the edges, it's better to snap it in. Now I'm using the squeegee to force the f film down, but also have like a little uh, one eighth inch gap going in. And yes, that was hot that day, that night, evening. I was e at work in evening times. I think that was like at, uh, I think at two o'clock in the morning when I was doing this project. Usually uh, banks or commercial buildings usually work at night and so you're left alone and no one's complaining about the primary 94 smell. Uh, the, no the noise is very minimum. It's just that the primary 94, that's where I, the most complaints I hear from is from that smell. Uh, you kind of need that for the primary 94 to make a bond very well. You don't have to worry about lifting or anything. Oops. I kind of wish I had a little close-up uh, shot of that. Next time I do a, a reception desk and if it's, it has those metal things, I'll, I'll do a little close-up shot of that so you can see how uh, tight it is. It's not right at the edge but um, if you if the background was let's say a, a black background and you wrap on a, a white uh, film and you cut right up to the edge uh, chances of you seeing a black are kind of high because it's not perfect so that's the reason why i use that squeegee uh it's just it overlaps or puts it onto the metal and just a slight puts it on the metal so you don't actually see the background of that uh, surface. You just see uh, right a clean sharp edge. That's the reason why I, I do that. And now on the, the architectural film squeegees there are spacers. Uh, what I call one, two, three spacers but also you can use a thickness of the squeegee to do it. Now on that little strip you can see that one, little, uh, one inch strip tacking on strip. I do the same kind of thing. So on the right side of my hand like I'm, I'm overlapping it about an inch and on the left side I think it's more of a two three inches right there but at least I have one inch overlap on the right hand side now I'm just kind of going to walk it in What I like to do is I like to snap it. Um, it gets the vinyl not to stick as well. And so when you're snapping it, it's, it's really quick. And again, right there, I'm using the spacer. So it forces the vinyl or film down and then to the edge. And I also have one inch. Or I have a little uh, spacer on the, on the film. Right there, there was like a slight quarter inch little gap right there. So I use like, use like little scraps. And I just noticed that. So anytime I see something, I try to fix it right away. And it's underneath the desk. No one's ever going to see it. But there's always that one chance that someone looks underneath and inspects the, the surface. Um, they'll see that little gap or the, the background. And... Um, but it's when you do that little scraps, uh, no one's ever going to see it. It's very hard to uh, get the vinyl or when the vinyl on top of vinyl, especially the wood grain. It's very hard to see where that overlap is. You really got to look hard.
I like to change my blades out every once in a while. I can always tell when the blade is getting a little bit dull, uh, I change it out. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're installing it. The sharper the blade, the better. It just cuts easier, less uh, chance of uh, double cutting. You have to cut the vinyl twice to, to, to score it. So just uh, keep that in mind. Now here's kind of the same thing. Um, I'm going to fast forward this and then kind of, you can see the, the process. Okay, so when you have enough, like this is actually, the, the vinyl comes four feet wide, and this was like about 40 inches, so it was about eight inch uh, bleed. So we had plenty of room to go from the side, uh, or front side and back. So right now, uh, this best thing to do is make sure it loops all the way around. I have a tacking on strip going up and down, uh, almost in the middle of the part. So right now I make sure the vinyl is at least a one inch uh, bleed on top because we got plenty of bleed on bottom. But when you're installing it, there you go. So it tends to, I guess, move up and up or down at the end of the the roll. So you just kind of make sure it's as level as possible. So again, I try to make the vinyl uh, stand out at least about 30 degrees and right in the middle of the way. <laughs> Using my squeegee, take your time, going up and down, go around these edges. I like to do it in one sheet um, so you don't see that edge, if you call it right, if you had an, uh, if you did the front, you would see the edge right there. All right, so when you get to the other corner, to, to bend it, uh, I guess in the back, you go right up to the edge. As you can see, you're right about there. And once I know where the edge is at, I usually cut on the glue side so I'm not cutting on the surfaces. And then I pull it taunt just to get all the air bubbles out first. And then use my thumb. I like to use my thumb. It just, uh, I can feel the vinyl better. And once I know the vinyl is more leveled out, 
I can use my squeegee. There we go. And I'm lightly doing it. I, I'm not hardcore doing it. Uh, just tacking it on and then now I'm starting to get more uh, heavy in on the hand right about now and you can see how well the primer 94 is applying or sticking to it the primer 94 is more of a heat uh, activator so anytime when there's like a little bend uh, you cut so it relaxes the vinyl so now I'm opening the door so there's more of a gap and I'm trying to shove it in as far as I can. And so when I shoved it in, it was more, oh, it was like almost to the edge of the, the inside of the cabinet. And there it goes. Now I'm shut. Make sure it's all nice and level. Shoved in the corner. Get all the excess off now. Make sure the door closes. There we go. So I go right at the edge. All right, so this is what I call post heating. So you use a heat gun, activates the glue, softens up the film up a little bit. And then uh, I'm just barely, you can see it dancing a little bit, or I can see it uh, in my eye, I dancing a little bit. Once it's dancing, you just take your thumb or squeegee and get it nice and uh, get the air bubbles out, get the vinyl nice and level. Yes, again, I am extremely hot up there. I think the air pressure was off <laughs> at that time. So I post heat all the areas that need to be post heated. Get it all the way around. And then once it's all post heated, I let the, the vinyl set for a couple minutes. It, it, it only takes a couple of minutes for it to actually cool down and I call harden. And then once it's hardened, that means you can actually cut a little bit better. If it's still hot, um, it would tear the film when you're cutting it. Now the next trick is I use a flashlight, go right at the edge, you can see right there, so I can see exactly where I'm cutting and I take my time, I have the blade right in the groove of that, but you still, instead of second guessing and, and making sure it's in the groove, I'm using my eyes, but also feeling where the blade is going to. Now after I removed that vine, that the film, um, the right hand side was lifting up a little bit. So we use actually a power grab glue. We taped it down and so that, that metal wasn't coming up after that. So it's a little tricks of the trade right there. Or you can use li liquid nails or uh, 6,000 uh, or Gorilla Glue um, for that too. There's lots of glues you can use. You get the vinyl, but also get uh, me the metal like that down. All right, so I just kind of, there's another area that you <laughs> need to glue down. And again, you can see the light. You can see where I'm post heating, seeing where it sinks in. Using the squeegee to get all the air bubbles out, and you can use your thumb. I like using my thumb most, but again, use the light to see exactly where to cut. So if you've got any comments or questions, comment down below. If you got any, you can always get a hold of me, 208-696-1180, info at rmraps.com. If you got any questions, I'm here, here for you. Uh, you can talk shop or uh, anything, basically, and we're open. So I'd love to help you. And uh, other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. And um, if you need anything else, like the squeegees, you can go to the armwraps.com website, go to the squeegees, 
the film, Oxnard Film, is at therrmrathstore.com. And again, there's my information if you ever going to get a hold of us. All right, you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. And also, uh, whatever video I uh, want to see or learn, let me know. Email me, text me, say, hey, I'd like to learn something like this. I'll see if I can make a video for you. All right, you guys have a good day. Talk to you then.